This festival of Nations also underway in the Twin Cities. It runs through Sunday at the St. Paul River Center. And Kylie is there live with a look at what's happening. Kylie, this was always my favorite field trip when I was in school. Yeah, you know, a lot of people say that they absolutely love coming out to the Festival of Nations. So yesterday they had field trips more today, and then it opens up for the public a little bit later on tonight. But we have Danny here with us from the Festival of Nations. Good morning. Good morning. Tell me a little bit about, uh, you've been doing this for 22 years. What do you love about it? So I love coming here and seeing everybody celebrate their cultures and sharing with each other what is great about their culture, what they love about it, and, you know, those cool things that you just don't know about other people. and see what they they do in their countries and maybe the best part about learning about another culture is the food and you brought uh, quite an array this morning yes we did we tell have, us a little bit about what you have we have all sorts of stuff we have different um things from like taiwanese pad thai uh, we have pot stickers and desserts everywhere um, different curries and rice lots of different stuff what do you love when the kids come through what's fun about that for you I love when they just walk in and they're just like overwhelmed with all of the excitement and the different things that they don't see. You can't just go to a regular store and see this sort of thing. You, you don't go to a festival and see this stuff. No, it's really special to have it here. Uh, and I know that dancing is a big part of it as well. You guys have a lot of different uh, dance shows that happen for performances. Yes, we do. We have over 100 groups usually each year with different dances. And we are so excited to have Edna here with us this morning. You look fabulous. Tell us a little bit about uh, the type of dance that you'll be doing. I will be doing traditional Benin dance from Nigeria. I actually had the honor of studying with the troop and there's still a king in Nigeria which is very fascinating for me because I've never met a king before and I had the honor of performing for him at the coronation so I'm wow. really excited this is some of the beatings that they wear in Nigeria the culture is very rich and I just fell in love with it and brought it back with me to the US and so when with the dancing that you'll be doing you're performing today or tomorrow today and Sunday actually right here in the atrium oh, fantastic <laughs> 30 5 30 and are you is it solo or is it a group dance it's a, about six or seven of us wow. Yes. And what is the reaction from people here in Minnesota when they get to see you? Well, first of all, they always go, are you selling that? <laughs> yep. <laughs> because, I mean, who wouldn't want to be a princess or queen, <laughs> right, exactly. for a day or two? <laughs> okay, can you give us a little bit of a preview right now? Oh, I sure will. Okay, let's see it. <laughs> this is Edna. We love it. Edna, beautiful dancing. What a way to wake up on a Friday morning. So we put all the information. If you want to come out to the Festival of Nations online at WCCO.com slash linked. Food, dancing, doesn't get much better than that, guys. <laughs> so it takes an incredible skill to be able to dance like that with only the music in your mind. You know what I mean? Extra oh, talent. Oh, you can't hear the music? I'm sorry. There's music playing. Oh, there I can hear it here. <laughs> Yeah, there's it music. It's really nice. It was absolutely 100 percent <laughs> silent on television. It was like the old oh, days no. when the movies well, didn't I have promise, sound. You, you have to come out here then to get the full experience because the music <laughs> is playing. Well, we I, were very well, impressed. It was impressive. <laughs> Either way. Yes, yeah, very fun. Thanks, Kylie. <laughs> 23 here on WCCO. You can embrace cultural diversity from around the world right here in the Twin Cities. The Festival of Nations is going on at St. Paul's River Center, and that's where we find Kylie Burst this morning. Hi, Kylie. Mm -hmm. Hi, Kim. This is always such a fun weekend in St. Paul. You get to visit with so many different countries all in one room, and we are so excited this morning to have Danny with us from the Festival of Nations. Good morning. Good morning. Tell me a little bit about the Festival of Nations for people who haven't come before. So the Festival of Nations has all sorts of entertainment. We have um, dancers and singers, musicians, and then we have food, of course. Yeah. We have a lot of things you can buy in our bazaar and all sorts of entertainment. One of the things that I have brought you over here for is that we have candy. And I will admit, I love candy, especially when you get to kind of sample from all over the world. Tell me about some of the different countries that you have represented here. So we have chocolate from all over the place. So we have France, um, of course, Belgium, German, all sorts <laughs> of stuff. We have some Asian candies. Uh, we have stuff everywhere. And I know that uh, there's different types. So if we want to show Robin, there's this strawberry right here. I'm going to have our photojournalist show this off. Uh, this looks interesting. I know that this is something, it's almost like a jelly. Yeah, I think it's a pudding okay. inside. <laughs> 
And I actually found, so I spent a couple of months living in Italy and I found chocolate from the town that I used to live in, Bocce chocolate. Is it fun for people who maybe have traveled to come and find things that they can't find uh, really anywhere else? Yes, and we also get a lot of requests like, oh, can you bring next year this kind of candy because I just love <laughs> it and I miss it and I can't find it anywhere here. What is your favorite part about this weekend? I know you work for a long time getting ready for it. I just love when the kids walk in and see just like the excitement of everything and the celebration and just the colorful everything and just the smiles on their faces. The kids, I know this is a field trip for a lot of different kids. Would you say that's almost more fun than when the adults come through? Yes, absolutely. <laughs> what, uh, when you have people that are coming through here, what is maybe the biggest surprise that you hear from people? Um, that there's just so much of it. There is a big place and there's just a lot of things that they've never seen before and it's all in one roof. And I know that throughout the rest of the year, uh, the, you guys do a lot of different work with refugees in the community. Yeah, we do a lot of um, refugee resettling at the International Institute of Minnesota and helps them, you know, figure out life in Minnesota when they come here from anything that's different that their country doesn't have. Fantastic. Well, Danny, thank you so much for getting up early with us. I know it's a big and exciting weekend for everyone. And we did put all the information online at WCCO.com slash links. Very cool, Kylie. I have very fond memories as a kid going there on mm -hmm. field trips. I know a lot of kids looking forward a to going today. A lot of people today. do. All right, Kylie, thank you. Jason.